Hi there, this is David Swain with Service Star Realty, and today we're going to talk about how to evaluate your real estate investment. The first thought when people are trying to determine whether or not their investment is performing is to look at their monthly cash flow. They are looking at the rental income versus their expenses, and to add up their expenses, they're tallying up the debt service, the taxes, the homeowner association, any insurance, also maintenance. Maintenance is a harder one to budget for. Past repairs averaged out can be used to get a general indicator, but you need to estimate the large items like carpet and paint, and that happens every five to eight years. You need to roll that into your expenses. The age of the home is also important when it comes to estimating. In the first five years of a, of a home being built, it will have fewer repairs. But between years 10 and 15, it will have more repairs. Investors will have already evaluated the cost of this as starting to replace the appliances and AC units. A 20-year-old property will have usually less repairs than a 15-year-old property because some of those things have already been taken care of. But in general, you need to figure around 10% for maintenance. If you do that, you probably are working with a safe number. Management fees are also important. Many times people have a percentage. You need to convert that into a dollar amount. It helps it easier to be translated. Please do not forget to budget for vacancy. Figure at least 5% uh, uh, to be on the safe side. Now you're done with the cash flow part of your planning for the investment. Whether it's positive or negative, that's only one part of your return and your ge on the generating your investment. Now let's talk about the four other ways you're going to be making money on your property. You have a tax write-off every year. You own the property and, and you depreciate your assets. We have an entire video on tax implications if you want to find out more on this income stream. I also want to mention here that properties that are owned in a tax-deferred entity, such as a 401k, cannot be depreciated. Through acquisition, you may have captured some equity when you purchased the property by buying it under market. That captured equity needs to be annualized and added into your calculation. You can figure appreciation on your property. We can always provide a complementary market analysis to see, if you're interested, to see how much your property has gained since you purchased it. If you're estimating the appreciation for future, a good number would be to use 3% for the years to come as you're averaging uh, if you're going to hold the property for a long period of time. Lastly, you need to add how much your loan balance has been reduced through the years since you purchased it. This number can also be exactly forecasted for the future if you're estimating. You will find this information on your monthly mortgage statement. So there are five ways that are possible for you to be making money on your real estate investment. A small negative cash flow should not stop you for, until you evaluate all the different income streams added to your return. You need to look past the performance and the forecast future performance to see the total picture of your health of, of your investment. When an investor asks us if the investment they currently have or thinking about purchasing is a good one, we always tell them to think about it as a three-legged stool. Out of the five ways of making money, if they have three of the sources, the property is generating income, then the property is probably worth having. So hope this helped you in your, your thoughts, and um, we'd love to be able to help with your investment. Thanks for watching.